This is for all you individuals who have inquired about the mobile home that I have for sale. So I've made a short little video so you can get the gist of the area. The address is 2955 Northwest CR 150 Jasper, Florida 32052. I'm just going to take this tablet here and I'm going to show you a little bit of what we are. We're off a hard road. The mobile home is off Highway 150. A very good road to live on. There's the mailboxes. Here's going the other way. We're actually one mile from the river and it's excellent hunting. As you enter the property, you'll see it's probably about a 200 foot off the road and we've got probably about three quarters of an acre that is fenced. You can see it's like a little river runs through it. Remember that movie? At any rate, here we go. We're walking down memory lane. There's actually four acres here and there's four places on it. We've got three places to the left. We've got a place to the right, which is the place that my husband and I live at. We've got some beautiful blackjack trees. They don't look very pretty now because of the um, winter they've lost their leaves, but in the summer it's absolutely beautiful. We've had a lot of rain here in uh, North Florida, as you can see. We've got some puddles in our drive, but they'll dry up. This pose no problem. We're not in a flood zone. Very good, nice area. It's actually agriculture. You could actually have um, animals out there. If you have a horse or goats, you can have them right out there in that field. Now, as we approach a property, you see the very first mobile that you come to on your right. That is the mobile home that's being for sale for $6,000. It's not bad. I think I'm asking a fair price. Now, the mobile home's older, so, you know, if you moved it or not, but if you decided not to, you can leave it here. A lot rents $250 a month. I'll just give you a showdown of the rest. We've got two more trailers there, and then, of course, we've got our mobile home here. It's a very large area. Um, you can have campfires as long as you're a certain distance away from the property line, of course. You definitely don't want no fires. So it's a nice, quiet place to live. Again, we've had a, a lot of rain, so we've got a lot of, um, a lot of water standing right now. So we're just going to go to the front of this mobile home that we have for sale right here. Here it is right here. We were going to wash it. We haven't had an opportunity to wash it yet as we've had a lot of rain, like I said. So here you see the outside of the mobile home. It doesn't look bad with a little washing. It wouldn't look bad if you had a little extended uh, porch out there. It's got a, a small porch, probably a 10 by 10. It also has got a shed, as you can see. The doors are down right now. We had previous people move out. But we're just wanting to sell it. So let's enter the front door. You can get an idea of uh, how it looks inside. Okay, as we enter the house, the first thing we enter into is the living room. It's got some real good paneling. I think it's teak wood. It's not nothing I think you can find anymore some real good wood. The majority of the windows have storm windows up on them. Some of them don't, but the majority of them do. We're going to just go like this to the other windows of the uh, living room. As you can say, see, that's a field out there. Now the floor is just a, a hardwood floor that was painted. It had laminate flooring throughout it, but unfortunately the previous renters destroyed that. We're going to go in the first bedroom. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath mobile home. And you see it's got your windows all up there. It's got your built-in dressers. There's a couple of the fronts off. I don't know if I can fix that or not. And it's got laminate flooring. It's got a full bath, full shower unit. If it looks dirty, it's only because I haven't came in here and cleaned again after this other previous renter. But for what I'm asking for sale, I don't think it's a bad price. Got a full closet. So that's bedroom number one. We're going to go back out into the living room. I've got that front.
front door open, and we're going to walk right into the kitchen. You notice it's got a little Tiffany bar on it. It's got tile cabinets. Um, my deceased husband actually done that. It's a very beautiful tile work. He done very fine work. And here we go. Here's the kitchen. We've got a refrigerator. I've opened that up because I was cleaning that as well. Let me just shut the doors. And that way you get an idea what that looks like. Okay, so there's a refrigerator. There's an opening for a microwave. And there's a stove. And again, we had to replace the floors on that. So it's just your hardwood floor painted. You've got laminate. A little kitchen area. Also got a stereo system throughout the whole thing. This thing will jam you out if you like music. So that's our living room. That's our kitchen. We'll get another view of it just like this. And now we're going to go down the hallway. You'll see the hallways, the laminate flooring as well. We've got a bathroom to the left-hand side. There's no electric on in here, so I'm going to open the back door so we get a little light in here. As you can see, there's your neighbor, and there's our home if you go over to the extreme left. This is our other bathroom, a full bathroom. We've got two sinks in there, a full tub. And over in here, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. That's a utility room where you can put your washer and dryer. This bedroom here has got two doors on it. A door to the bathroom and a door to come in. You've got a full closet. Again, there's your windows and you've got laminate flooring. So I'm asking $6,000 um, I can, you know, take so much down, make payments. You can leave the mobile here. It rents, the lot rents $250 a month. When you think about it, where could you live that cheap? Think of what you could save in five years. And to be honest, I've got three mobile homes. I'm just trying to sell them and get rid of them because I'm just trying to get out of debt. Husband and I are getting older and a lot of upkeep to a lot of stuff. So, anyways, this is it. If you have any questions, you can call me. My name is Brenda, 386-938-3255. Or you can call me on my cell, 803-414-9425. I appreciate you looking at this video, and I hope there's a perfect uh, buyer out there waiting. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.